Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. There will be those listening to these channelings in what you would call your future. The message for them is this. They are looking into what is happening. And what I mean by that is these channelings are for those in front of me. In this you call the discovery series for four days. This is the first channeling. And so those listening, what you would call later, are listening into what is happening to you. Now this is different from the kinds of channeling that would be instruction sets for the whole. But these are for you. We want to get specific. And the first is this. Dear ones, there's an energy being developed here in the room that requires something we call cognizing. All kinds of paths are represented in the room, and I know all of them. Now, when I say I know them, I mean the other side of the veil and that which you call spirit knows why you're here. Knows not only why you're here in the chair, but your name. Not the name on your name badge. It is a beautiful name, unpronounceable because it is spoken in light. It is a name of what you would call your soul. This is the best name you have for that immense, beautiful thing, not an entity, but as close as we can describe it, something that is part of the whole but is separate from the whole that is in a reality which you have begun to see called quantum, which is part of that which is God and yet a part and is forever. The soul comes and goes, and sometimes it's human. It was here before earth, it will be here after earth. Because God is forever. And inside you is a piece of this soul, not the whole thing. Do you understand that that which you call your soul is represented not only in the human biology, portion of it actually in your DNA, some of it in what you've called the, the higher self, which is a, is a part of you that vibrates outside your DNA, but also part is on the other side of the veil. This is the connection. You must have this. This is the silver thread. And not only does it go upwards, perhaps, but also it goes between you. Souls are beginning to connect in ways they never have before. So we stop the channel and say, do you believe it? Can you feel the energy in the room beginning to shift? I want to tell you something. Each time you gather and sit in the chairs, no matter where you are, the intent of why you're here is seen. And the stronger the intent you have, the more things will occur with you. It always starts with belief. What we see in humans is this. They have very, very odd shades of belief. Some will say, I'll believe it when I see it, but I'll believe it if I see it. Is that belief or is it potential belief? We've given the definition of pure intent many times when you decide to jump in the lake. When you jump, you know you cannot take it back because gravity will take over and take you right into the water. And that is what we're asking now. Go into the water, the water of discovery, a metaphor that means that you believe what is happening here, 
not just esoteric, metaphysical, but it sets a stage for healing, for discovery, for knowledge, for wisdom, for change, and benevolence in your life. I want you to think for a moment, those of you in the chairs right now, I want you to think, what if everything I'm telling you is absolutely, totally, and completely real and true? And the only thing that separates its reality from you is your mind. That inside you there has always been a piece of God, a soul, literally with its hand out wanting to put yours in it. This is the connection, the duality. You call it whatever you wish. The differences between light and dark. Those are the things that are starting to shift and change in this new energy. My partner said it early. I'm going to talk about it tonight. What brought you here? And why is it now instead of before? What is different, perhaps, that you would sit for four days and learn these kinds of things, whereas perhaps before you wouldn't? Not all of you are that way. Many of you have actually sat before, but there are new ones. Is that a different energy on the planet? Or is it just you? Dear ones, the planet is starting to shift and change in ways that you are going to have described to you in these four days. And part of the description will be that old souls are starting to awaken to greater truths. And you all are old souls. So the next question is, do you believe that? Is it possible that within each of you there is a memory bank, if you wish to call it that? And the memory bank contains all of the attributes of every lifetime you've lived on the planet. Now what happens when you live in this planet over and over is you start to get used to human nature. You start to anticipate things, have awarenesses, and yet <laughs> there is no evidence of that in human history. Because every time you're born, dear ones, it's as though you were here for the first time. In other words, there has never been yet on this planet an energy that would support a Kashic awakening so that an old soul would begin to change and remember who they were what they'd learned the wisdom that they had the healers they were the shamans that they were the craftspeople that they were and it's happening now to some, it's happening to such a great extent that there are so many things suddenly you think you can do, you don't know where to start. I can do this. I can do that. I remember this. I can sing. I can compose. I can write. I can, I can do books. I can speak. And it's happening everywhere. And that is because that is everything you did on the planet. To some, it's frustrating. It's confusing. If you'd like, we'll talk about that later as well. But there is an awakening. At the very, very least, the awakening is something that is taking place, and you're saying, who am I? For the first time, instead of letting the planet define you from your culture, from your spiritual belief, from what your parents believed or your friends believed for the first time, you're awakening and saying, yeah, but who am I, really? And that hasn't happened before. Not to the extent it is happening now. And it's happening in the room. 
the who am I is your remembrance like a big jar that's going to be filled if you allow it with who you are and by the time you leave this place I want that jar filled with the magnificence of who you are do you believe it do you believe that in the chair the man is receiving messages not just receiving but is filled with this from the other side of the veil which is targeted to you is there a litmus test can you know for for real is this real or not and the answer is oh yes you can tell but dear ones because of free choice the prime directive if you wish to say that you have free choice and if you start to ask the question let me feel it I believe that it could be let me feel it and that will then tell me if it's real or not have you have you asked that and if you have stand by because flowing into you will be the glory and the magnificence of truth not only that this is real but the message is real and that means that you are magnificent and that means the jar can be filled with solutions with knowledge with wisdom not with confusion and not with frustration and not with suffering that is what we are bringing to this planet now the explanation of the shift what is happening to you also my partner will present something that is taking place with children but you're already here is it possible for someone who is already here on this planet to start having a major awakening akashic remembrances shifts of life new beginnings healings all of these things that seem spontaneous and I will tell you define spontaneous it's your time that's the spontaneity of it the shift is here it is no accident you are here and the gender that you are sitting in the chair listening to this you're here for the reason that you're here the shift to learn these things the more light you contain for yourselves the more knowledge you have for you the more you can say oh, now I understand I'm okay it strikes a light that is so bright for this planet it affects everything around it you may not even know that it affects the planet itself the dark light quotient itself the more of you who start to know the truth of God and who you are as a relationship to it creates the planetary change this is the old soul who sits in front of me Brian how many lifetimes have I had the answer is yes <laughs> who have I been the answer is yes and here's why I say that I want you to feel the enormity of your wisdom not the minutia of it you can get trapped so easily and whirl in that which is minutia of who you were what you did past life reading is not for that past life reading is to help correct some of the things that have been bothering you so you can live a better life and even the past life readers of today are going to tell you there is a new paradigm for them for they are starting to look into that which is your past life and instead of seeing the negative things that perhaps are bothering you today up comes the positive things that you can then take for yourself wouldn't it be something if you could go to a past life and say this was a past life where I did not have any health issues 
and bring it forward to you today, to your DNA. Now let me tell you something. Where is your Akash stored? It is in your DNA. Is it therefore such a stretch to think that the health issues you have today are apart from that? You earned it, you lived it, you've been it. So why not go get it? These are the things we are starting to tell you that are the different paradigms between the old energy and this energy. The idea that you sit and heal yourself, not exactly right. Instead, you pull from that which is an Akashic self of the past in combination with the, cogniz the cognization of your higher self, the connection to spirit, and the fact that you are able to do these things. Have you ever asked yourself, what is spontaneous remission? And I will give you an odd answer. It's what can happen to you in the chair today. And it's not just health and disease. Spontaneous remission, healing of consciousness, healing of fear, healing of old ideas that have stuck with you and stuck with you that you can't get rid of. Spontaneously, because of knowledge that has always been there, you fly open the door, the light comes in, and there's an aha. It's a new beginning. And what you are, who you are, that's why you're here. And so the question again, the channeling that you're hearing, is it real? Have you put out the test yet? Have you asked spirit? I have to know. Show me. And if you have, dear ones, that's when you can take that hand that's been outstretched for a very long time of your own higher self that will give you these answers, the emotions that you have, the chills that you have, all combined together to say, welcome to a reality that's always been here. That's who you are. That's enough for now. We'll be back. And so it is. <laughs>